Hi, welcome back to Jimin Core YouTube channel. This is another video in the Java FX Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. In the last video, we have done uh, the material design tab pane, this JFX tab pane. Also, we have converted the menu bar into a flat design. So, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this toolbar from here and add it in a drawer. So uh, as I said before, I have a reference design I made before. So uh, what I'm trying to achieve is when I click on this JFX hamburger, this is a hamburger control from JFX library, I need this menu. I mean need this toolbar. When I press this close button, I want to close it. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's do it. So I'm closing this and opening our FXML and first thing we have to do is we have to remove this VBOX entirely. We don't need this in this part. So I'm just deleting it. So I deleted that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more package here. So library assistant dot main dot uh, uh, UI dot main is the I'm going to create one more package inside that. So inside main we need one more toolbar package. So toolbar. Then here I am going to create one more empty fxml. So I am going to give this as toolbar dot fxml. So we have toolbar fxml. Definitely we need Java controller. So uh, what's the problem? Uh, here we have we don't have to explicitly give dot fxml. That's issue. Then here toolbar controller very good. Then we don't need separate CSS file. We left that active before. So I'm going to remove this that much part. Then I'm opening this toolbar.fxml file. Here we I'm going to paste that VBOX. So the thing is, I don't want an anchor pin container here. I just need my VBOX. So my V and the VBOX is here. That's okay. Now what I want to do is I want to change this to material design. So plus style sheets, I'm going to take my normal dark theme or css so i got it the problem is uh, i want to uh, add a new class there so coming back to dark theme dot css if you look at the button effect text field fx primary text is there uh, so for this purpose we don't need a separate class i'm sorry about that we need a fx background color here and uh, here i'm going to set fx primary so fx primary should be our background color for our button then the text field will be primary text which is kind of gray so let me go here and uh, this looks okay then what i am going to set is here i have add member and book view books and these are images so far we have uh, we are actually removing all the images and uh, replacing them with the uh, font or some FX icons. So let me just remove those icons first. Then I am going to take my font or some FX icon view from here. Then let me put it in every object, I mean every button here and here. So we got font or some FX icon. Then I need to set some common. Here I am going to set the size to 25, which is kind of okay. Then here I have to specify the icons. So first one is add member, so I can give user here. Then here add book, so I can use book here. Uh, case capital, definitely is capital. Book icon. Then here these are view books and view members. Then we can just set table here because we are using tables. So I think we should change these view members to all member 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 list so member list which will which is much better i think in instead of view books book list that should do then here for settings we need one more icon there is an icon called cog which should uh, serve our purpose so that's it that's about those button and the one more thing that we have to change is currently we are using native java fx button we have to convert that into jfx button so one option is taking jfx button here i'm copying it here but that will take a lot of time so i'm going to do it in a much faster way by editing the fxml file so coming back here let me first save it coming back here we have toolbar.fxml and when you press edit we have this option don't care about this load member load add book load member because uh, we will do it uh, not right now so for now <coughs> we have talked 
that doesn't matter here we have changed this to jfx button but before that we have to import jfx button so going to main.fx element we have jfx button import here because i don't remember this so coming to toolbar.fx ml i am importing jfx button first so now i can use it so jfx button button jfx button button jfx button i am changing that everywhere now if i come back to our fxml view now it is jfx material design button i am just loading it and it is working fine so that part is okay now what i need is i can actually use no i can't use uh, login login css here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase this preferred height by a little bit so i will tell you the deal so the problem is if you go here and just drag it right here it will stop increasing at here i mean this were increasing up to this point and the button are, so, uh, height is not increasing after a certain point because we have limited the preferred height here to 150 so if i say that to something like 400 so that each button can grow up to 400 so if you see now it is growing up to the screen size so uh, if my screen was more than this uh, resolution then i could uh, it will grow beyond that point so that's the point of setting this preferred height to 400 i think 150 is enough for width because we don't be needing so much width for our toolbar so that part is okay now what we want to do is we want to add this as a drawer so before that what we have to do is we have to add a hamburger here as a control button and even before that we, i have just have to change this background color so uh, if you see previously i used hard-coded css styling here as background color if i just remove it it will go back to normal don't worry about this color we will change that color don't worry about this text field we have to change it to the fx text field which we will do in the upcoming videos now i am going to take this jfx tab pane and put it inside an anchor pane so just using this wrapping option and here we go now we have this anchor pane and inside that jfx tab pane so we can set the anchor pane constraints for the jfx tab pane very easily from here so here i am setting uh the, this to zero the left the top constraint that is to zero and I, if I set this to zero then it will uh, fill the entire area available so now it is 240 I'm setting that to zero and one more thing this one and I'm going to set this to zero, to zero. so uh, it is taking a little bit time to process i don't know why uh, scene builder is uh, slow for some cases so so far so good we have the jfx tapping and we have the anchor pane and now what we want is we need a jfx hamburger here so jfx hamburger and i'm going to take this jfx hamburger and put it in here so if you have some doubt with using jfx hamburger i have already made a video about jfx hamburger in java fx jfe studio series so please go and watch that video so what i'm going to do is i have this anchor pane and this anchor pane and see that i put this jfx hamburger not inside this jfx tab page so now the hamburger is here using the constraint i can move the hamburger so i am moving it to the 20 from the right and uh, from top i want to set it to something like uh, 100 so 100 is a little bit okay i need something like 80 i think so 70 would be better 75 this fits with 75 so now we have the hamburger what we want is when we click on this hamburger we need that uh, jfx drawer to come in so that's what that is the use of this hamburger now we have to style this right we have to take that into our uh, primary i mean that into our secondary color so that's what i'm going to do now so coming to here coming back here we have the dark theme.css here so this is the dark theme.css here i am going to add the styling for hamburger so hamburger styling i am adding this comment so that you guys when you take this code from github will understand things better so 
that's why I'm putting it here. I mean, that's why I'm adding these comments. Now, let's put, create a class for styling the hamburger. You can use JFX hamburger then icon. So, JFX hamburger icon is there. So, for that, first I'm going to set the FX spacing and this specify the spacing between the lines of the hamburger. So, I'm going to set that to set that. <clears throat> then in order to change the color we have to use jfx hamburger icon then instead that there is a stack pane so we have to uh, give color for the stack pane so <clears throat> i'm going to say the fx background color then the background color i am setting it to fx secondary not primary because this is a point of interest so i'm going to give it as fx secondary then i'm going to say fx background radius to something like uh, 5 pixel yes so so far so good i am going back here here we have our jfx hamburger i am going to select the jfx hamburger here then in the property section i am going to add that so we have jfx hamburger right there and as you can see now our hamburger is of this color so this is it we can use it like this so one more issue is uh, <clears throat> uh, this window is available from us, so that's okay. I, I don't think that's a problem. I mean, we can access the menu from both this book issue section and this review or submission section. So it will be available in both cases. So that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to add a JFX drawer here so i already did that i added the jfx drawer here now we have to populate the jfx drawer with our vbox content which is toolbar.fxml so what uh, what we have to do is when we click on this one we have to code this one so i will do that in the next video since it has been a little while since i started this video so in the next video we will give code i mean we will do the back end for the jfx draw so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos